You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So, you me on Twitter, The Gaming Drag today, and coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Santa Lucia. So, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into it, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next 16 minutes of entertain you. Let's jump right in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> what was that, Ben? Uh, oh, sorry. I returned my attention back to the competition and approached Karina on her treadmill. Holy hell, what the hell? My eyes practically pop out of my skull when I see just how fast she's running. I'm just warming up. <laughs> no freaking way. I get closer to the machine and glance at the settings. Ah! She has everything set to the highest it can go, and her heart monitor says she's only at 65%. That's unreal. Karina, you're not tired. Ben, I live for this shit. She takes a deep, relaxed breath, demonstrating she's completely in control. If I could set it higher, I totally would. I put my hands up in the air. I surrender. There's no way I could ever compete with that. When she hears that, she turns the treadmill off and slows her rundown with it. Ah. Do you want a water bottle? I saw a vending machine downstairs. No worry. No worries, doll. I got you both covered. Shay steps into our line of sight with a couple of water bottles in hand. Thanks. Shay, good to see you. I can tell she's talking through gritted teeth. I can get my own bottle, thanks. If you say so. What took you so long? Oh, you know. Just needed to wash my hair and pick the right outfit. Is that so? Oh boy, Shay's always saying the exact wrong things to push off Karina's buttons. I'll admit though, she's looking crazy good right now just for a, for just, for just, now just for a workout. What are you planning to do, Shay? I'm heading over to the yoga station. I was wondering if either of you wanted to join me. You could probably use some time to unwind after that run. I pop the water, open the water bottle and take a few swigs. That. Karina shoots me a harsh glare. I think I'm good, thanks. Ben and I, Ben and I were gonna head to the open area to do some stretches. Hun, you can do all sorts of stretches in yoga practice. Though, I suppose they're not the kind that someone like you would do. Uh, what did you say? Oof, how she's done it. I think I could teach you some stretches that would help with your running. I can practically see the steam blowing out of Karina's ears. You know what? Sure. Why don't you teach me some stretches, Shay? Eh? Wonderful. How about you, Ben? Would you like to join us? Karina looks at me intently. I can't really make out what her intentions are. Is she expecting me to stay, or is she wanting me to leave? It's okay if you don't want to, Ben. Ha! That just makes it even more ambiguous. I look down the staircase to the right. The voices of the football team echo up to the second floor. I could take the chance to hang out with Brian for a bit. Always before bros. <laughs> uh, let's hang out with her. I contemplated for a moment, but decided against it. I went to Karina because I wanted to spend more time with her, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Sure, Shay, I'll stick around and learn some stretches. Oh, thank God. Perfect. Shay cuts Karina off as she's saying something under her breath. Let's head over to the yoga section. We step away from the treadmills and onto the large padded surface in the adjacent space. Shay walks up to a rack on the wall and pulls down three soft mats. These aren't required, but they'll make it a lot more comfortable. Uh-huh. Thank you, Shay. Karina takes the mat she's handed with a fake smile. And here's yours, Ben. Uh, thanks. I imitate Shay's motions, laying out the mat so it's flat against the floor. By the time I'm finished, I see Karina's already done sitting in a meditative position. Shay gently sits herself down and faces us. So, how much do you two already know about yoga? My expression goes completely blank. Uh, literally nothing. I know some things. Ah, so we've got, we've got complete newbies. That'll make this a warm southern breeze. I'm sure it will be. Heh, <laughs> it'd be funny to see just, it'd be funny to see how much Shay gets under Karina's skin if it didn't have to deal with it second hand. Let's begin, shall we? Yeah, let's begin. Now hold it for ten, nine, eight. This doesn't seem like a very effective stretch. How so, doll? I notice Karina's eyes widen in annoyance at the nickname. This isn't a muscle that's used that's used much when I run. Really? She stops for a moment to think. Go ahead and release. Da! I reach down to rub my upper thigh. I think I almost pulled it. It's strange that muscle is so weak for you too. It's so weak for you two. Is it possible you're running without proper form? Excuse me. I cut in quickly to defuse the atom bomb about to go off. 
Yeah, it probably is. I know I'm pretty rusty. I haven't been in track since my freshman year of high school. <laughs> I'm confident I'm running correctly, thank you very much. If you say so. Shay shrugs her shoulders, then turns, to, then turns the movement into shoulder rolls. Let's begin the next stretch. This one's particularly good for stress relief. I use it all the time after AP Chemistry. After AP Chemistry class. What? You were in advanced placement? I reckon everyone in this school was at some point. Shay leans forward, beginning the next stretch ahead of us. Uh, Karina and I look at each other. Looks like we're on the same page here. What's your major, Shay? I'm in the pre-med program. My eyes widen at that. Holy crap, I didn't expect that. Wow, good luck. Oh, you're too kind, Ben. Yeah, you are. Eh? She stares at me with a deadpan glare. It's not an easy field, I know, but it feels it just feels right. Like it's my true calling. I want to help people. Will you shut up? Oh, God. Karina slams the floor with both of her fists. Oh, you're so self-righteous. You're no better than the rest of us, doll. As if anyone as if anyone like you could ever become a doctor. She folds her arms and turns away from us. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Karina? Tell the truth. How much did Mommy and Daddy pay, you, pay to get you in here? She quietly stands up from her mat and rolls it up before putting it away. I, I see you might have misinterpreted some things. I didn't mean to sound too big for my britches. Wait. No, no, I know when I'm not wanted. I'm just, I'm gonna go back to my room, okay? Shay, she trots off towards the staircase, tail drooping low. I sit up straight and turn my attention to Karina, who's watching as the white wolf descends the stairs. Phew, she's finally gone. What? God, she's probably never been told anything like that in her life. Can you believe her? She's so damn arrogant, isn't she? Karina, I think you might have went a little overboard there. R really? Yeah, I think she's just, just trying to bond with you. You're not saying this to make me feel bad, are you? I shake my head. You're still hung up on Kathy Schwartz, aren't you? She stares out the glass. I notice the sun is about to fully set. The lights from the lamp posts have already turned on, lighting up the paths as night quickly creeps in. You can't just let one mean girl from school dictate how you treat any anyone kind of similar. I, I know. I just... She lets out a long sigh. <sighs> Looks like we're both starting out on the wrong foot with our roommates. I suppose so. Ben and Karina have always fated to mirror each other. Oh, there you go with that fate nonsense again. I've told you before, it's not nonsense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I smile at her. I'm a piece of shit. And I'm a piece of shit, too. Looks like we both get to be pieces of shit together, huh? Yep. <laughs> the two of us stare out the glass for a while, taking in what just happened. I can't say I'm looking forward to heading back to the dorm room dorm room tonight. With any luck, Zach might be asleep. I arrived back at the third floor a little after ten thirty. The lights seem to always be down on the be down the halls of the dorm building. Walking towards my room, I let a, a lot of the rooms that were open and earlier are closed, though I could still hear the sound of people talking behind them. For a lot of these guys, I don't think the fact that classes start tomorrow has dawned on them. 314. Huh. Here goes nothing. I step into the room and quietly close the door behind me when I realize the lights are off. When my eyes adjust to the darkness, I take the moment to scan Zack's side for any signs of him. His laptop sits closed on his table and his jacket hangs off the corner of his bed. There doesn't seem to be a chunky dragon anywhere in here, not even under the covers. Whatever. Seems this is the way it's going to be, huh? Always walking and talking past each other. I drop my backpack down next to my table, not bothering to be silent anymore. The shirt flies right off my back and onto my chair, followed shortly by my pants and underwear. With nothing on, I walk over to my dresser and pull out a clean pair of pajamas. I'm gonna have to figure out where the laundry room is in this building. I'd rather not get stuck with a stinky pile of clothes and no way to wash them. Hmm? My ears perk up. It almost sounded like something moved. Feh, it's probably someone in the hall the next room over. Without worrying about it further, I slip on a new pair of underwear and pajama bottoms. Uh, it's pretty warm tonight. I might skip wearing a shirt to bed. I slip into bed and pull the blanket over me. When I look over at Zack's side of the room, for some reason his pillow has an, in has an indent in it, almost as if he were laying in it recently. It must be in the restroom or something. Oh boy, that's weird. That is a tad bit odd. September 3rd, 2018. Wow, that's several years ago. Damn. I leave the lawn with my lunch tray fully stocked. Entering the seating area, my, 
My hearing starts to go numb thanks to the sheer volume of the other of other students that are talking at. Of sheer volume the other students are talking at. Everyone is split into their respective cliques. Clicks. All competing to hear each other over the voices of the others. If I wasn't holding this tray, I'd be covering my ears. Watch where you're going, chameleon! Sorry! I nearly avoid running into a guy who runs by who runs by right in front of me. Huh. <sighs> it sucks being referred to by my species. I'm a person too, you know. Oh, oh, this is Zack, I think. Wait. Zack's a dragon, though, isn't he? Somebody a nice, quiet place to sit without all the cacophony. I maneuver around a pillar near the back of the cafeteria and set my food down on the table behind it. I'm going to find some silence that will have to be where nobody can find me. Oh! I'm caught by surprise when I notice there's somebody sitting on the other side. I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. Oh! The cat looks down at his plate and shakes his head. It's okay, I get that a lot lately. If you'd like, I can go somewhere else to sit. Nah, don't worry about it. Take a seat. The cat gestures to the spot I was aiming for. If you say so. <laughs> I pull out a chair and sit, folding my hands in my lap and smiling. Nice place you've got. Nice, pl nice place you've got here. I quite like it. Yeah, I guess. It's been my refuge. It's been my refuge for a while. I reach out a hand for him to shake. My name's Eric. I know. He takes my hand in his and lightly shifts it up and down. You're the new guy, huh? That's right. I need a flutter. I feel a flutter in my stomach. Someone actually acknowledged that. I'm Ben. We have a homeroom together. I was there this morning when you introduced yourself. Uh, is that so? Uh, huh. I fancy meeting you here then, uh, wouldn't you say? Yeah. The cat stares off to the side while he pokes at his meatloaf with a fork. A long silence emerges between us. I break it, but I have no idea what to say. Um, so? Any reason why you're sitting alone? I'd imagine it's the same reason you wanted to. The cafeteria gets really noisy. <laughs> I feel a bit awkward when he mentions that. I'm, uh, not really used to it. I I've been homeschooled most of my life. Lucky you. He shoves a bite of meatloaf into his mouth. Hmm. Do you have any hobbies? Besides getting bullied? Nah, I just keep my head down. I don't want to present anything that makes me a target. I, I think I understand? Psh. You just said you were homeschooled. How could you possibly know what I mean? I tug on my shirt to air it out. The therapist said I shouldn't be ashamed of who I am, so... I'm, uh... I'm kind of into things that most guys aren't. His ears perk up. Huh? Deep breath, Eric. You can do this. Um, for example, I'm a big fan of Courtly Leonetti. Really? I notice a smirk starts to curl on his mouth. Yeah. That's pretty brave to admit, dude. I can't say that I've listened to her music much, but... Oh, she's incredible! She's so confident and comfortable with herself, and it reflects in her music. She's a big inspiration to me. Interesting. Tell me more about... Our conversation is rudely cut off when the guy from earlier walks by and kicks our table. Oh! What? Mm. The guy runs away smiling and laughs to his friends who stood by watching. Does that happen often? I don't know. The dragon stares off into the distance. Something tells me this isn't the first time. Hey, listen to me. Never be ashamed of who you are. These people only have power over you if you let them. I get up from my chair and strike a pose. Huh! Dance, sing, enjoy life! We don't know how long we have, so we might as well make the best of it, right? He looks at me with a confused expression. What are you doing? I reach out and grab his hand, then pull him up onto his feet. Just let it go, man! Okay. Oh. What the f- I can tell he's been alone for a long while. As long as I'm here, I'm not gonna let any that happen anymore. Whoa! Hey, what the fuck just happened? Oh, God. Jesus. Duh! I quickly sit up from my bed and hold my stomach. Ugh! My phone buzzes on top of my dresser. Great, I'm gonna have to deal with these kinds of nightmares again. Uh-oh! I rub my forehead gingerly. Double great, headache on the first day of class! I shift the blanket off my legs and scoot over to get out of the bed. After rubbing my eyes for a second, I see that yet again Zack is nowhere to be found. No hoodie, no laptop. His bed is even nicely made, to my surprise. Huh. I can't keep dwelling on the argument. Well, we'll work it through eventually. Right? I jump off the bed and grab my phone. The first thing I see after the after the, after the the time is a text from Karina. It's 8 a.m. right now, so it looks like she sent it 15 minutes ago. Let's walk to class together, Benny boy. She punctuates the text with a wink emoji. Hmm. I write up a response saying I'll be right down. I wouldn't mind heading to class with her. Especially since I don't know exactly where the classroom is. I put the phone down on my desk and grab my shower supplies. 
No reason to waste any more time. I should get it. I should get cleaned up. <laughs> Triple grade. Of course, everyone was taking a shower at the same time. I had to wait ten minutes for a spot to open. Ha! Ah! I power walk onto the second floor from the stairwell, making my way towards Karina's room. Ben, you made it. Yeah, <laughs> looks like someone decided to sleep in. What? Karina waves at me from up the hall, surrounded by three other figures. Good morning, Ben. We should be walking to class right now. What's going on? Oh, nothing much. I just thought it'd be cool if we all went to class together. Makes sense since we're all in the same lecture hall. Huh. Sorry I left y'all waiting. <laughs> I feel put on the spot. Thanks for giving me a heads up, Karina. We have to go. We're going to be late. Does everyone have what they need? All I need are my ears, baby. I'll remember everything important. That's risky. You should at least take a backpack for all the hangouts you'll need, for all the handouts you'll get. What? Jalo. We do not have time for this. Carlos steps away and starts heading for the stairwell. Brian, what are you thinking? Now you're going to have to lug papers around all day. Ugh, good point. Alright, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.